Hey guys, welcome back to Motivational Mondays. Welcome back to my show. My show. What I decided to do was I got a couple questions people asked and today we're going to go over the questions and at the end of the entire video we're going to find out what this month of April this topic is going to be about. First question. I live in Canada but my boyfriend, best friends, relatives live in Croatia and I just feel so much happier when I'm there because of the people and the atmosphere. When I'm here I feel alone, miserable and like no one understands me. How do I make my time here enjoyable while I wait until I go back? So, honestly, I feel like I'm going through this one, so I really like this question. Being here by myself, technically, I do have my brother, my uncle, and my grandparents. And I felt alone because everyone's back home for me also. So, I was confused, didn't want to leave the house. Like, there were time periods where I wouldn't leave the house. i just be like, no, I want to get this over with. I don't want anything to, like, I don't want to... I want time to go faster, like I would go to bed at 7 in the evening and with time I realized, like thinking right now, I've been here for 3 years, almost 4 years now and I almost wasted so many years doing nothing. So why would I have to worry about all the things I'm missing out back home when I know I'm gonna have that soon, when I could be enjoying things here now too. I know it's not the best sometimes thinking all like personally like my family's not here so how do I try to enjoy my time being here even though a big part of me is back home. Just smile, be happy, do things you're not used to, try to study, get good grades if you're in school or something, try to find friends, try to hang out with people, try to do different things, things that they don't have back home. Simple one, eat macaroni and cheese from crab dinner if you love that. They don't have that in Croatia, enjoy it. Just try to live in the present and enjoy the exact moment you're in because that moment will pass. Uh, you guys probably don't see, I'll like put in a clip, but I have a big calendar right there of the days I go back to Croatia and I was like, you know what, why would I do, well, I do that more for organizational purposes, but why should I do that? I should just not have a calendar, just live every day, wake up, do something I love, and I feel like in the last month I've been doing really good at that, trying my hardest, wake up, go to the gym, hang out with friends, do things I love to do except for study, but I mean, I can't really push that aside. Four things every human being needs to be able to survive. Food, water, shelter, and something to look forward to. So, question number two. I am no one, no one, you want to go. I've got to get respect up on the street. No, I'm in the mode. You just ruined my mode. Please don't do that again. You don't understand. I'm barely. That's good for your post editing, because I can add that. I am the one, the one, and it can be fun. I don't know how to do that. Please help me. I don't know how to do that. I will fail. Oh, your lighting's good. I'm gonna try to get leave. Your lighting's damn good. Because I'm damn awesome. Uh, guys, Jackie's full of advice, and uh, she's a smart girl, so listen to her. Here we go. Bye. Close the door. So, how to handle stress? and positivity. Positivity you don't need to handle because positivity is what you want to be able to control and have with you in your everyday life. But stress, on the other hand, sucks. I know people, I know because I got it right now because I'm here like making the video and I just feel the vibes of my calendar on my face like screaming study for your exams you have four exams you get five exams you gotta study and I'm making a video but I like this and it gives me positivity so maybe it helps with the stress we're all in this together everyone has stress it's normal I feel like everyone needs a little bit of stress just to have you on your feet at all times pushing you towards where you want to go one quote my mom always told me when I was younger that I love oh, to this day she still calls me sometimes like Jackie listen to this and the quote goes there's three answers to every question you have for God. One is yes. The second question is yes, but a little later. And the third one is I have something better in plan. So if you're ever worried about something happening, just think about it. Everything has a reason. Always, every single answer, everything that anything that could happen will be positive in the end. So, okay, here's a good example. You are in love with someone, they get you and you break up, for example, right? What do you do? You break up with someone, what do you do? Um, you ask God, God, I don't know what to do, I'm sad, we just broke up, like, do you think we're ever gonna be together again? God gonna say either, yeah, of course you're gonna be together. Or he's gonna be like, yes, but right now is not the right timing, one day. Or third, no, I have a better person for you in plan. Amazing answers, all positive, why ever be sad, honestly? There's almost no reason for sadness in the world. 
it's more like an absence of happiness that causes us to be sad. It's really cool. When we get to deeper topics one day, you're going to realize how the, you can actually control every part of your brain to make you think certain things and then you act certain things. I'm actually thinking of doing a book review one day on The Secret, one of my favorite books ever, but we'll leave it for next time. Third question. So, the, the question I have is about coping with school and basically people who you spend every day with. How to stay positive in situations where they are constantly trying to bring you down? Okay, well, everyone's gonna try to bring you down. It's just the normal thing in life. You see someone else doing better than you, having a better life, having something better than you, you're always gonna want it. Jealousy is a big thing. When someone becomes jealous, they will do anything to be better than that person and try to pull you down. Not even that, they try to do anything to be better, but if they physically or mentally can't understand and try to can't be better than them, you're gonna put them down just so their level goes down automatically, their own goes up. Don't let that happen. Keep your standard up high where you like it to be, where you want it to be, where you believe you are. Never let people that are negative bring you down. Have people that are always there for you. Good times, bad times, hard times, easy times. If someone can handle you at your worst times and still be there to take care of you and to show you respect of your friends, I'm saying for example, then you know they're there for you. Guys, so thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it, if you have anything else to add. Again, this is a whole community of people I want to collect to help bring positivity up. Have comments, write comments about people, like to different people. So write your own experience on something positive, something negative, and how you got out of it. Because we want to make other people feel like they're not alone in these situations. So, again, same thing as this week. Have any questions? Send me Instagram, Facebook. I think that's all I got. Instagram or Facebook, or if you have my phone number or something, text me, ask me a question. Again, I might even open up an anonymous page where you guys can ask questions. Just like ask if I'm if you guys can't remember that. Might do that. But ask me questions, whatever you want to know. Detailed, not detailed, whatever you want. And the next week's video will be based on your guys' questions. It can be about school, stress, lifestyle, your relationships, God, religion, whatever you want. If you guys want, I can have one specific topic, talk about religion, but, or religion, or love, or family, or anything you want, let me know again. Comment in the comments if you got a question, if you're fine everyone knowing about it, because again, nothing to be shy about. We all go through the exact same problems. Some people are more open about it, some people know how to hide it. Everyone goes through the exact same things. So let's work together, let's get out of it, and guys, keep that frown upside down. I don't know if you guys got that, because like my brother didn't get it. Keep that frown, so like a sad face. Upside down, smiley face. And see you next time, guys. Peace.